Hello, 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 I'm Philip Magnus and today I'm going to unpack 21 card packs for Hearthstone's latest expansion, The Mean Streets of Gadget Sun. It's exciting, so let's get straight into it. Oh me, oh my, will I get a single legendary? I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Okay, we start off slowly with a single blue card. Jade Behemoth. Behemoth, sorry. I've not been speaking English lately, I've been too busy trying to speak Italian. Jade Chieftain. Lovely. Daring Reporter in my phone. How dreadful. Smuggler's Run. I must admit I have spoiled very few of these cards, so I'm going to go slowly. Jade Idol. Choose one, summon a Jade Golem, or shuffle three copies of this card into your deck. Huh, that is actually... It seems rather useful. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Daring Reporter seems... Uh, kind of nice, but not too useful. Alright, second deck. Sorry, oh, and an epic, our first epic for the evening. Leatherclad Hog Leader. Battle cry, if your opponent has six or more cards in hand, gain charge. Again, more cards with uh, effects dependent on your opponent's hand. And card draw, interesting. Very, very interesting. Bastard Leper, deals two damage to the enemy hero for three mana. Doesn't seem too useful. Mistress of Mixtures. Death Rattle Restore, four health to both players. Nice. Nice enough. Right then. Sorry, I was recording my microphone with NVIDIA's GeForce thingy. Oh, another epic card. Let's see, let's see. And a rare. Greater Healing Potion restore 12 health to friendly character. Useful enough. Hosen Healer. Restore a minion to full health. And let's see, what do we get now? Pilfered Power. Get an empty mana crystal for each friendly minion. Huh, that is going to be very useful for druids. I expect a lot of new decks centered around this single card. In fact, oh my. I love the animation. Let's see, hired gun. That's a nice, nice three, three mana cost common card. Coin the finishers. Oh boy. Another Murloc card, which will fill this bloody game with more Murlocs. Bomb Squad. Battle Cry, deal 5 damage to an enemy minion, and Death Rattle, deal 5 damage to your hero. Ugh. Small Time Buccaneer. Ah, uh, this one is for all you fans of pirate decks, I suspect. Has 2 attack while you have a weapon equipped. Huh. Interesting. I swear I've seen a card that is strangely similar to this one. All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh my! And this is our first epic, which is for Hunter, for Warrior and for Paladin. Don Hancho. Battle cry, give around the minion in your hand, plus five, plus five. Awesome! I wonder if I will get another legendary. I didn't actually expect getting a legendary so soon. Okay, rare Draconid Operative. If you're holding a dragon, discover a card in your opponent's deck. Huh, that is cool. I might finally decide to play a Dragon Priest now. Oh, a Cabal Chemist. This is actually my second multi-class card. Add a random potion to your hand. I'll certainly be experimenting with my mage decks. Let's move along, let's move along. Ancient of Blossoms, 3-8, useful. And pretty, I love the art. Oh, just a single record, Potion of Polymorph. After your opponent plays a minion, transform it into a 1-1 one -one sheep. Another secret, that's cool, and useful. I do know that there is a lot of new... There are a lot of new cards when it comes to Mage Secrets. Both with this expansion and with the Karazhan one. Which makes me think that it is uh, finally time for me to play my Secret Mage deck. Spell damage. 
zero seven. Will this go in a demonology deck? Probably. Will it be working? I don't know. Let's see what else we've got. A housing healer. Restore a minion to full health. Useful. Very useful. Unless, you know, you play low-cost minions. Piranha launcher. After your hero attacks, summon a 1-1 one -one piranha. That is weird in so many ways, but I love it! Cookie chemist. Swap the attack and health of a minion. We've seen this effect, but not in this scale. Not at all. And another bomb squad. Good, that's good. Let's see, we've got 12 to go. Will we get another legendary card? Oh my, we do. First, let's see. Tanaris, Tanaris, Hawk Chopper. If your opponent's hand is empty, gain charge. Very specific, again, with the opponent's hand effects. Oh, we get two of those. Big time racketeer, summon a 6-6 ogre. Whoa, I like this. I like this quite a lot. Grim Street Pawnbroker. Give a random weapon in your hand, plus one, plus one. This is useful for a warrior. Let's see. <gasps> a golden legendary? This is my first golden legendary in the game, in fact. Ink Master Solia. Battle cry. If your deck has no duplicates, the next spell you cast, you cast this turn, costs zero. Oh my, oh my, oh my, I'm going to be playing a no duplicate mage deck from now on. So exciting. 10 decks, 2 legendaries. I never expected this to happen. I'm so pleased right now. And all of this is done with gold. Let's see. Shaky Zikpan Zikpana. Give a random minion in your hand. Plus 2, plus 2. Cool. That's cool. I like that. Another Tanaris Hawk Chopper. I think we've got four of those now, which means plenty of dust. And Lotus Agents, Dread Rogan Shaman. Discover a Dread Rogan Shaman card, depending on your... Actually, it's not depending on your class, but rather you get an opportunity to choose from one class card for each class, which is really a cool idea. And of course, we've got a Cabal Lucky. The next secret you play this turn costs zero. This is again going to be very useful with a deck of secrets, a mage deck of secrets. What I do have a problem with is I think that you should not be playing this if you have a level... Basically, you shouldn't be playing this at your very first turn because mostly all of the secrets the good mage secrets you want to be playing later in the game the vaporize the mirror entity all that you don't want to play them early on because you'll get uh, rid of or you'll copy weak minions oh another epic card <laughs> and another piranha launcher how useful how lovely a Cabal Song Stealer. Silence a minion. Blizzard is doubling down on the Priest Silence once again. Blast Crystal Potion. Oh, a potion. Destroy a minion and one of your mana crystals. Huh, useful, but costly. I can see this being played later down the line when your character has 9, 10 mana. Jade Blossom. Summon a Jade Golem. Gain an empty mana crystal. That's very, very cool. Huh. And Volcanic Potion. Deal 2 damage to all enemy... Uh, to all minions. Not enemy minions, but all minions. Which is useful, but also kind of deadly. I can see this being used in spell-heavy decks, which don't rely on minions in the early game. And it's totally going to wreck Zoo Warlock. Let's see. Nine to go, nine to go. A rare card, Celestial Dreamer. If a friendly minion has five or more attack, gain plus two, plus two. Oh, that's very useful. Very useful for druids, because druids have those bulky, strong creatures later down the line, and I'm sure that it will see a lot of play in those taunt decks. 
Big Time Racketeer, we've already seen. Cabal Song Stealer, yeah, I think we've seen all of those already, so we can move on. Let's see. Any legendaries? Nope. Oh, my fifth and that is Hawk Chopper. Crystal Weaver, never seen that one. Give your demons plus one plus one. Again, a card that may actually cause the demonology warlock deck to be useful. And let's see. Yeah, we saw that as well. Moving on. Anything good? Two rares. Oh, uh, two mana cost, zero seven warrior taunt. Use four. Especially once it gets damaged and you give it one of those lovely cards, plus three, plus three. Which are, yeah, um, I forgot the name of the card, sorry. Grim Street Pawnbroker and another Jade Idol. Alright, both these cards are alright, but nothing amazing. Another rare. Yeah, I bet that we probably aren't going to get another legendary card. Oh, a red mana worm. Worm, rather. And Jade Claws. Summoner Jade Golem Overlord of one. Friendly bartender. At the end of your turn, restore one health to your hero. So I suppose that the funnel cake guy's reign has ended. Which I'm totally alright with, by the way. Alright, moving along. Worgen, Worgen Greaser, 6 3, 4 mana cost. I don't see this uh, seeing too much play, honestly. Its mana cost is too high for the health, and it's really quite easy to get rid of it. Basically, every single class, almost, actually every single class has commonly used methods of getting rid of the Wargen Greaser. But I will say this, the artwork, I really like it. Second Rate Bruiser. Costs two less if your opponent has at least three minions. Now this, this may see some limited play, or even some wider play. Time will tell. Red Mana Worm. We've seen Freezing Potion. Freeze an enemy. Zero cost spell. This I can imagine will get a lot of play in Arcane Golem decks. Yeah, probably. Let's see. Pa -pa 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 -pa. Looking for those legendaries. Only to find none. Jade Swarmer. Stealth Death Rattle. Similar Jade Golem. Oh, a golden common. And it's a murloc. Yay! I've got more murlocs to throw in that abysmal murloc deck. Ale Armorsmith. Whenever this minion deals damage, gain that much armor. Cute. Not too useful, but I imagine it will see some use in those armor heavy warrior decks. Jade Swarmer. Still, Death Rattle, Summon a Jade Golem. Again, the Jade Golem mechanic, I can't wait to test it out. It's not the mechanic that seems the most interesting personally to me, but nonetheless. Oh my! This is a big one, isn't it? Shadow Rager. Another weird card which won't ever see play in any kind of a deck. First epic card. Pilfered Power. Get an empty mana crystal for each friendly minion. We already have this one. Rather, I already have this one. And this is my third Lotus Agents card. How about this one? Greater Arcane Missiles. Shoot three missiles at random enemies that deal three damage each. Cool. This is very cool. I like it. It's also totally RNG, but... What's Hearthstone if not an RNG fest? Let's see. Anything interesting? Probably not. Naga Corsair, I don't believe I've got it one so far. Give your weapon plus one attack. And the Grime Street Protector. Give adjacent minions divine shield. Cool. That's cool. That's like... Uh, 
alternative. Uh, Argus. Argus person. I forgot the name of that card as well. I'm really bad with naming things. Oh. Our last deck proves to be less than impressive, I'm afraid. But hey, at least we got our second Cabal Chemist. And our first Grand Street Enforcer. Or is it the second one? At the end of your turn, give all minions in your hand plus one plus one. Cool. Cool card. Well, that was a that was a nice fun little unpacking, I'd say. I really enjoyed getting the legendaries. Let's take another look at them. Good gadgets and the oh god, the golden ink master. Look at the animations and let's look at the flavor text as well. Sonia marks the cabal with inter intricate tattoos that grant immense power. Also, it makes it harder for other gangs to recruit from their numbers. Back off, goons! And our Don Hanchu, who... The brilliant mastermind of the grimy goons. Or is it grimy goons? Han sometimes thinks about ditching the idiot show, but that would just tear him apart. Haha! <laughs> Get it? Because he is an ogre. Funny. Funny, funny, funny. Let's see, any other funny text? I think we're going to take a look at... Oh yeah, the Piranha launcher. A great improvement over the Guppy launcher. The Grimmy Goons can get you any weapon you want, but if you want it to not explode, you gotta pay extra. Cool, cool, cool. Fun times, fun times for all. Oh, one last description I would like to check out. Has to be, yeah, the Greater Arcane Missiles. Wow! And I thought Arcane Missiles was great. Yeah, right. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. This was a lot of fun, and I'm sure I'll be making some videos with the latest cards. And maybe some Hearthstone Arena as well. So if you want to see that and anything else on my channel, please click that subscribe button. Thank you for watching once again, and I will see you next time. Bye!